Hey, welcome back to uh, the tech videos. Today is Monday, so it's Bowtie Monday. And uh, today I thought I'd show you about the split and concatenate functions that are available in uh, Microsoft Excel, but also in Google Docs. And so I'll be using uh, Google Docs, more specifically Google Spreadsheets, to show you split and concatenate. Enjoy. This is how I roll. Okay, so first up we'll do a concatenate a basic concatenate. So if you have a list like this where you've collected maybe in a form, last name, first name, and then maybe you're going to make some name labels or um, address labels or something like that. So you want to take column A and plus column B into column C so that you can copy and paste. Um, there's a function for that, a formula called concatenate. So all we do is we click over into the cell where we want the um, values put together to be, type in an equal sign, and then start typing concat. And what you're going to see is you're going to see two versions, concat uh, 1 and 2, and then concat 1, 2, and all the way up to 30. And if you're going to do multiple values, I would definitely stick with the 1 through 30. If you're only going to do 1 and 2, uh, if you have two, you know, two simple columns, you can use this one. I tend to use this one. And here's how it works. You click there, and then, like with any formula, it's going to ask you, well, what's the first cell? So I'm going to say the first cell is going to be the first name. So I'm going to click there. And then the, del the delimiter, how we separate, is a comma. Uh, between, uh, we might want a space, but let's see what happens. Then I'm going to say I want the column A, and then finish that off with um, parenthesis. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And what we get is this combined value, but you notice that there's no space. So let's fix that. Uh, in our formula bar up here, you can come in, uh, or wherever you edit it, and then you put in a space. And how we do that is put in double quotes, and then a space, and then double quotes, and then a comma. And that's essentially your space between the two values. So now if we hit enter, you're going to get uh, Andrew Johnson. And that's a com combination or concatenation between column A and column B. Now, of course, you know that if you wanted to do this for all of these cells, all you have to do is highlight this cell, drag the lower right-hand corner, drag it all the way down, and then it'll do the same formula all the way down. Or alternatively, if you just click here and you double click on this box, it'll do it for all of the values that are in that row. Easy. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at some more advanced uh, uses of this. Here I have a bigger spreadsheet. I have last name, I have first name, I have the address, I have the city, I have the zip code, and I have the state. And then I want to make a mailing label over here to the right. And the formula I've used is the concatenate formula. And so what yields uh, then Andrew Johnson, 123 Any Street, Akron, Ohio, 44224, uh, the zip code, however you want it. Let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to click there, and you see the big, long formula up here that's involved uh, all of these things. Let's go through it. So we start with concatenate, B2, which is the first name. And then you notice that I have a space in there. So we have the space, which is that double quote space and then a comma. And then we have A2, which is this column, which is the last name. And then after that, I have this code or this formula, char 10 or character 10, which is a return. It's a character return. So that's what gives you the second row. So you just put that in as a value. And then we have C2, which is the any street. And then we have another character 10, which we get another line. And then we have D2, which is the city. And then I put in a comma and a space right here. Uh, and then E2, which is the zip code, and then another space right between the zip code and the state, and then last, the state. And so let's see what happens. I hit enter, and I get my mailing list. And of course, if I double click, I get that nice mailing list for everyone there. And sometimes there's a little bit of overflow, so you can move it so you can see exactly what it looks like. Pretty easy to make mailing lists, pretty easy to combine uh, lots of different values into one column. Great for sorting stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the command split or the formula split. Sometimes you have a column like this, column A, where you have uh, the name, for example, Andrew Johnson, Nils Smith, John Stevens. You have them all together, and you would like for that to be broken into a first and a last name. So you have them together, and now you want to break them apart. Here's the split formula. Start in the first cell where you want to split this value. So start in the cell to the right, hit the equal sign, and then type in split. And then what it's going to tell you, it says, hey, you want to show me the string and then the delimiter. And it tells you pretty good uh, help text over here in Google 
Google Docs, but the string is essentially the value and the delimiter is how do I know where to split it. And so in this case, it's the space between Andrew and Johnson. So I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna say like split this value and then I put in my comma and the value is a, a space. So I have to do that double quote, space, double quote and type it off. And what's gonna happen is gonna take column A there and split it into B and C and I hit enter and then I get Andrew Johnson. And if I now, of course, highlight down or double click, it'll do the same thing, move it over. And now all of a sudden I have a column A with first and last name broken into two columns, one first name and one last name. Easy. Yeah. And I know it.